Hi, this is Adam again from Ads Productions and I'm back with another video review. This time it's of the Nokia E-Series E63 smartphone. Okay, so let's go through what you get in the box. Obviously you get the handset itself, put that there. You get a headset, you've got to use this if you want to listen to the radio because it has a transmitter in it to pick up the uh, radio signals and things like that. Uh, what else do we have? We have a manual. This is the like intensive manual that pretty much you go to if you're having a problem with your phone. Next you have the very basic manual with things such as like changing the battery and like final startup and things like that. You're probably not going to need this but it's good they included it. And you're going to have another manual. Let's see what we've got in here. Good to know it's all in language that I don't speak. If anyone can translate that for me, I'll be greatly appreciated. That will be greatly appreciated. Oh, and it's upside down when you go to the back. Yeah, I'm not going to use this at all. And I don't think you guys will either. So yeah. Right, let's get back to the phone. Here. This screen is a 2.36 inch display with a resolution of 320 by 240 and it's a QVGA screen. Please also note that the phone weighs 126 grams and hopefully as you can see there I'll just zoom in, not out, in features a full QWERTY keyboard as you can see here, let me just see if I can zoom in just a bit more you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0 hash and star to enable these numbers when not dialing a number you must press the like the function button and then a number so but when you're just dialing a number normally you can literally just press the m key and it will be zero press the n key and it will be nine etc etc let's go up a bit here we can see we have a select button for the something that will be on the screen to the left and the same over here for the right here we have a hang up or, or a power switch and to the left we have a call button here is the home key, here is the calendar key, here is the directional pad, here is the phone book key, and here is the messages key. On the back of the phone, what we have here is a mirror for taking pictures of yourself, we have a flash, and we have the 2 megapixel camera. On the bottom of the phone, at the back, is this little switch. If you want to take the back of the phone off, push the switch off, and this will allow you to take out the battery and the SIM card. Okay, now as this phone has a lot of features, I'm probably just going to tell you about most of them and show you a few of them. This, web, this phone does have a fully uh, YouTube compatible web browser. This phone features 3G also you can use Wi-Fi, you can switch between the two, allowing you to not use your mo your phone network and charge you money for when you browse the internet. Let's show an example of what the QWERTY pad is like to type. Let's go ahead and go to the messages. Um, go options compose. Right, as you can see it does say sent from my Nokia phone, but this is, you can just delete this, I'll just do that now. Just quickly, just hold down that button there, the back button. Now let's type in something like, right. Hello, this is Adam from Ads productions with a review of the dot 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 so as you can see that's been typed out successfully you can just change the subject etc etc this allows you to either send a message via mail or via mails in the internet and mails 
as in the phone, like SMS kind of thing. Let's go back. No, I don't want to save that. Right. We go to the menu. We can see that we have a media folder. Within this folder is a music player. I'm going to show you what this. I'm, I'm going to play their standard song. I'm not going to play chat messages. It doesn't seem to have any. I'm going to play a podcast for you and show you what that's like in the music player. This is This Week in Tech with Leo Laporte. You probably know who he is. Right, this is what the me uh, the music player looks like. And this is... You the cast you love. From people you trust. This is Twitter. Yeah, just like to say, the one thing about this phone I don't understand is there's no volume rocker on the side. So it must be done within the... Um, phone like this. There you go, it says muted at the top. So yeah, that's what I don't get though, because normally phones come with a volume rocker on the side or the bottom or something, but this phone you have to do it all in the software, but that's not too bad. With the podcast, you can simply just go to the podcast thing on the menu and you can see that you just search for them, connect to your Wi-Fi hotspot, searches the internet, boom, download it. That's how I downloaded that podcast. Right, what do we have next? Let's go ahead and take a look at the hmm, what will be good to show you. Let's go to tools. Yeah, let's see what the settings are like. Go to settings, and you have general phone connection applications. In general, you have personal. Yeah, basically, you can restore the phone to factory settings. In phone, you can do things like turn off the network to stop incoming messages etc etc you can call divert in connection you can manage your access points the bluetooth usb and the wireless lan applications you can just pretty much manage the applications i'm going to show you one final thing right on memory this is good because it shows you how like because i've got a memory card in it shows you all the details of that memory card instead of having to go into deep like settings and things like that. This is just like two clicks and in there. I mean, it's not, it's just simple text just tells you how much space you've got left. It's brilliant. Um, what else? Yeah, okay, let's go over the positives and negatives of the phone. The first, I'm going to do the negatives first. The first negative is the fact that it doesn't have a volume rocker, which is slightly confusing, but okay. The only other negative I can find, which isn't really too bad, but yeah, are these numbers here. These numbers get quite fiddly. Like, I'll show you. When you right. Okay, when you're um, dialing a number, all you have to do is press the key with the number on. So like one, two, three, four, five, six. Not hash. Six. There we go. But if you were going to type it as like a message, let's do that now. Let's open up the messages. Let's compose a message. Give me one second. Compose. Okay. And if you want to do, say, like a number in a text message, then what you have to do is once I've deleted this, you don't have to delete this, you can keep it sent from my Nokia, but it just gets in the way. Right. Once you, if you want to do numbers in normal texting, you must press this, like, function key here. So you go function R, which gives you the 1, because you can see the 1 is above the R. So then function 2, function 3. But, so if you don't press the function, it just comes up with the letters. Just thought I'd tell you that. It can get quite annoying, but I suppose it's something to get used to. That's the only real negative I've got about this. The positives are the fact that obviously it comes with a full QWERTY keyboard. I'm not sure if it's full, but it's definitely a QWERTY keyboard, because you can see at the top. Allowing you to text really quickly and responsibly. Also, another positive is the screen size. The screen size allows you to browse YouTube videos. Now they're not the best of quality to be honest, but it's quality that you can put up with. E.g. it's fine to watch, but it's not going to be 3D vision, OLED, whatever. No, it's not that. So thanks for watching the fairly quick review of the Nokia E63 smartphone. Smartphone, that is. Thanks for watching, that's Productions. Hi, just a quick update. Say if you ever want to like find something in the dark, you don't have a light nearby, 
Simply hold down this button here. It's got a picture of a torch or a flashlight, whatever you want to call it. Hold it down. And there we go. Literally hold it down again. It goes off. Simple.